since morning, a lot of my discussions are around AI SRE, you know, most of it. Uh, and as uh, more and more, you know, adoption of, you know, AI SRE is growing, what role do you see of G GTU infrastructure there in that space? I think um, this year we have all seen like AI SRE, AI agents, MCP, all of these terms coming up, people are crazy building these AI agents, Cajun project, a lot of CNCF projects are coming up in this. The thing that is constantly growing and exponentially is the need and demand for GPUs, which is where we are seeing AI farms being built in US and other countries. We are also uh, seeing there are a lot of companies who are uh, not NVIDIA, but other companies who are actually creating their own interesting architectures for better inferencing. So I think Two key areas I see a lot of innovation and a lot of uh, my interesting work is the inferencing space, like how do we make sure that the inferencing, the KV caching, page retention, all these things are working together and working very nicely with Kubernetes. So we saw 1.34 DRA got, uh, you know, uh, GA, DRA, dynamic resource allocation went GA. Uh, but we need to see how natively LLMs can help here and build those uh, troubleshooting mechanisms easy with uh, inside the Kubernetes cluster. So that's very interesting. Like AI, AI SRE is there. I have been hearing it about since past KubeCon, but nobody is able to get it right. Like people are trying that, but it's not, it's not there yet. But yes, I think it is providing enough value to get those troubleshooting metrics and give you the results out there. But I think this, this space is really interesting and yeah, that's why I said previously as well, AI infrastructure is a really hot space and uh, glad that V cluster is directly not building AI solutions, but sitting on the infrastructure layer that powers those AI solutions.